Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to present to you my version of the copper stub out do-it-yourself homemade fire piston. First thing you're going to need is a copper stub out half inch by six inch. The bullet type will be sufficient. You can find these at Lowe's or or your local hardware store. I personally bought mine online at a place called tools2parts.com. I'm not trying to plug anybody. That's just where I bought it. I couldn't find one in here in town. I live in a small Texas town and quite frankly they've never even heard of one. need is a half inch steel rod. They come in three foot pieces. You need to cut a piece off at four and a half inches. Next up is you're going to need two valve washers. These are the one is a dome type uh, washer. It's marked quarter on the bottom of it, and the other is a flat valve type washer. It's marked two four one dash one quarter R. These are the kind of washers that uh, you use on hose bibs or or sink valves that type. Of Okay, <clears throat> next you're going to need to drill a hole on each end of the, the shaft, the rod, uh, with a 5 30 seconds drill bit. You want to drill it approximately a half inch, 5 eighths of uh, inch deep. Next you're going to have, you're going to want to tap the hole using either a 1024 or a 3 16 NG by 24 tap. And when you tap this thing, go kind of slow and, and just a couple of threads at a time, use plenty of oil, and then back off, and then go, try to go a little deeper, and then back off, and try to go a little deeper. Otherwise, you'll break the tap. <clears throat> All right, next you're going to need some sort of a knob. I, I forget what this came off of, but it's got a little hex screw in it where I can I cut a piece of quarter by 20 uh threaded bolt in there and and tighten it down and works pretty good. The next you need a quarter by twenty screw and you can see this uh, is is Phillips. And what I did is I, I drilled it just a hair in the center and then cross cut it across the, the uh, screw tip so I could fit a, a flat screwdriver in it. Okay, now stack your washers. I'm going to take the domed one and put it on the end of the screw and then the flat one behind it. Then thread your screw, thread your screw into your pipe, into your steel piston, and put your other end. On the other side, the knob on the other side should should look like this when you're done. Next, you want to take your copper stub out, which will be your cylinder, and cut it to five and a quarter inches. Now, the reason you want this stub out at five and a quarter inches is because you want to allow for the for the nipple on the bottom, and also you need to allow to flare the end of it. I use this uh, plumb bob. It's called a Hansen PB325H and uh, I just inserted it on the end and then hit it a few times with a hammer till it uh, till this fit kind of like it's supposed to in there toward the, the uh, washers match the flare and it seemed to work pretty good. I uh, Originally I tried this flaring tool that works, except when you go to crimp it down, uh, when you go to tighten it down, it'll actually, it'll, it'll crimp right here in the tube, so you really don't want that. Using the plumb bob works a, a whole lot better, trust me on that. Now the reason you want the flare on the end of it is when you go to insert it, so you don't nick your washers, because if you nick your washers, then you won't have any compression. And you'll just be going through it and making it a, uh, another stack of washers on it for unnecessarily. So put your flare on the end, do yourself a favor. And lastly, uh, 
I took a piece of canvas thread and I, uh, I coated it lightly with beeswax. The reason for this is the thread will last a whole lot longer and it won't, it won't rot. But the thread is for, you want to drop it down in the tube when you go to store this thing. And you can decompress it that way and store it closed. And it works out pretty good. Now on this washer stack, you just you just want to screw this in hand tight, not too tight, because it'll be there'll be too much compression and, and it uh, you won't be able to get it to fire because too much compression. Take a small amount of uh, Vaseline, like I'm sure you've seen in many videos, and just slightly lube it. All right, and put a little on the end, a little on the end there, so you can get your. I use char char cord instead of char cloth. I find it works the best, and it's uh, almost impossible to put out once it gets going. And just stick it on the end, and fray the end out a little bit. About like that. About like that if you can see it. And you want to use a 100% cotton char cord also. Well, everything is lubed up and ready to go. Let's see if we can't get this thing to fire the first time. Blow on it a little bit. There she goes. That's your homemade do-it-yourself genuine fire piston.